Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and this is Acropolis, the Archaic Age. At the end of the last episode, we just managed to place down this huge old building, the Stoa, uh, which is, well, it's going to be pretty darn good, all things considered, for us. Um, increasing the stockpile capacity, adding another trade route, uh, seven extra respect, extra income. So, yeah, it's a big building. Uh, it consumes pottery and wood, and it's going to be it's going to be built in about three, three and a half years, so it's going to take a, take a bunch of time. Of course, this is all uh, in order to complete the uh, ambition that we have, the, the, the Naxian ambition, which is to have at least one stoa, have at least two markets, have at least seven trade partners. Uh, so, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, in order to fulfill our last ambition, the island and the sea, we need to have two trade, two trade ports and at least four fishing docks. So, that is what we're going to try and do whilst we're waiting for this. Uh, trade port, moment of weakness, don't really care, I, you know, I, I, you know, it's the beat of my own drum, I sing to the beat of my own drum, that's what I do. Oh, we also need to get two modest temples, the reason that I didn't talk about that is because it is kind of a little bit difficult for us to do right now, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty substantial investment, it takes three years to build, uh, two food, one wine, uh, 450 build points, 450 drachmas, 150 marble, which we can't even do at the moment, um, yeah, we, 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 we just actually cannot do anything about that because we, oh, no, sorry, tell a lie. Our stockpile limit has just increased because, of course, we have the two, the two markets, which increase it by, I think it's 20 each. Um, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to do. Either way, I also want to try and get ourselves a, another, here, admin center. Now, I'm not certain that we're allowed to have more than one admin center. But if we are, that's great, because that will give us an extra uh, 8 admin ability. Of course, we're also able to buy admin ability, and that is what I am probably going to do. Um, sure, I want to gain some build points. I, I'm tired of waiting around. Might as well. Might as well take the opportunity to, to, to get it done now. Uh, okay, I'm going to queue up an admin center to be built. I'm going to queue it up to be built. We queued up to be built in the center of town. It's unfortunate. Oh, that's good. We'll talk about this in just a second. Bureaucratic, ta bureaucratic taxation, dispatched officials, standardized measures, plus 3% total income. Researched it very early. Great. It also makes us harder to further research tech. Well, that's not fair. Just because we, we reached it early. Yeah, as I say, not entirely sure if this is actually going to result in an extra uh, 8 admin points for us, but it is certainly worth uh, worth a shot. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of nice. Let's have a look at those concepts right now. Bureaucratic taxation, uh, plus two revolt risk in areas. Yeah. Local focus, kind of nice. I mean, honestly, I don't really like to waste my points on these. We've got rural development, which is, which is kind of nice. Um, we should also probably remove that concept, because most of the villages that we care about are upgraded, and by the time that this five years is up, most of them will be upgraded to the extent where that's fine. Um... Pottery patronage, that's annoying. We need to embrace this as part of our uh, ambition, but that's fine. Plus one trade volume with your colonies. Uh, it's an interesting one, really. Colonies go, grow quite twice as fast. Not really that bothered about that, to be honest. 20% manpower from villages, centralized training, militarized society, barbarian trade, athletic, athletic games, sponsored festivals. Yeah, you know, there's nothing that I'm, there's nothing that I'm super interested in here. Subdued classes. Dispatched officials. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it, it costs such an ungodly amount of, um, of admin points to keep all of these, to keep all of these concepts going. And I'm not actually sure that I, that I want to, that I want to indulge that, uh, that idea. Um, anyway... Oh, great, our stoa is built. Stockpile capacity has been increased by 40. Extra trade route, extra income. Uh, but now we are consuming more pottery. And we don't actually have any pottery coming in, which is... It's not a concern, but we need to try and find another trade route where we can buy pottery. I mean, we're already buying in three pottery. Moment of weakness, fine. We should also probably sell off more wine. Also, speaking of wine... Our trade partners. We've only got... We've got Tinos and Athens. Are we actually trading with both of those? 
We are trading... Well, we will be trading with Tinos as soon as we have more um, administrative ability. So that's something that we could look into. Um, maybe getting, you know, maybe getting that um, that increase in colonial trade wouldn't actually be the worst idea in the world for us. Sacred Delos. Plus one respect, minus... Sure, I'll pay 50 drachmas. I mean, look, I'm super unbelievably wealthy and there's no, there's no way that I need to spend any of it. Um, half a year more until we can get this uh, admin center up. And that means that we can turn all of our trade routes back on, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. Uh, but after that, we are really going to beeline for the two modest temples and then the trade partners. We might even be able to accomplish this trade hub right now. Oh, it turns out that we did, in fact, get the admin points back. So let's take this opportunity to turn on all of our trade routes. Again, I'm not entirely convinced that... Uh, let's just turn them all on at least a little bit for now. Not entirely convinced that it's actually going to make a difference. Sell one pottery. Uh, I'll buy one wool, sure. Uh, and then sell four food. So that's seven people, right? But the problem is, is that most of those are intercolonial people. A lot of available build points. You don't have space for some resources. Yeah, I know. You have available trade routes. Losing wine losing food yeah so as you can see we haven't hit our ambition which makes me think that we need to restructure our organization so that we're actually so that we're actually making this work okay so tinos do we control tinos i don't think we do control tinos do we no we don't control tinos so that's a trade partner. Can we trade with you? Sell you some wool? Sure. Sell off a little bit of wool to you. In fact, we could probably trade more wool to you. Um, I don't think that that is going to make a difference, but that's fine. Uh, what we'll do, actually, in order to increase our number of trade routes and, you know, coincide with a different ambition, is we will actually build a trade port. And I'm going to quickly buy some build points. Four, five, six build points. Uh, yep. What does a grand temple actually do? Five admin ability. Three admin ability for that. We don't have the marble, unfortunately, for this. So, nothing that we can do about that. Can we buy more marble in? We can actually buy more marble in. Yeah, let's just buy more marble in. There we go. Buy more marble in. Happy days. Uh, yes, let's get a trade port, which will give us another trade route, and also some extra income and stockpile capacity. Now, I was relatively sure that I might be able to fit one of these bad boys behind here. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Fishing dock goes next to the edge. Does this need to go next to the edge, too? Kind of suspect it does. Oh, oh. There was one slot there. Another slot there. This is looking good. Okay, let's get that in there. Can we get fit another trade port in there? I'm not so sure. We might be able to fit a fishing dock in here. Oh. I did see it was, was working there. You know, we might even be able to get two fishing docks here. Anyway, it works like that. No, it doesn't look like it. No, nor like that. It needs to be in that specific orientation. Look, that's fine. That's fine. If we can't, you know, if we can't fit another one in here, then that's not the end of the world. We're at least utilizing what is in effect dead space, which is what I care about, right? Uh, so we've got that fishing dock coming along. That's kind of nice. We've got the trade port coming along. It consumes pottery. It consumes wool. We need to find... We need to find another place to trade with that will give us pottery. We need to buy property. Okay, so... If the, property? Uh, pottery, should I say. Uh, for the first time in what feels like forever, we need to actually go out and find... A place where we can buy pottery for it. We're already buying pottery from... You. 
Let's trade with you then. Um, let's stop selling to... Stop selling to you. I know... Actually, we need to start buying the marble from you. Oh, so we need to keep that trade route available at the moment, actually. Delos. I mean, we could not sell to Delos. That would be an idea. Uh, yeah, let's not sell to Delos, actually. Remove the trade route. Let's trade with you. Let's buy in a bunch of pottery. Let's not sell the wood. Cool. Okay. So, that's eight trade routes, but not all of them are... Um, not all of them, obviously, are... Uh, our foreign ones and we need to bear that in mind but even though uh, we're, we're probably still getting there right trade partners two modest temples two trade ports four fishing docks okay so that's fine that's an extra food supply not like we really need it but I believe that that'll take us um, if not even close to even 10 marble per month we're not really uh not really in short supply of marble. Oh, speaking of, actually, we need to devote, as soon as we get this uh, up and running, this trade port apparently is going to take about 16 years to complete. That's fine. Doesn't particularly matter. Uh, the point is, is that once we have that up and running, we can go on the hunt to find uh, a country that will sell us metal. Now, I believe that there is one over here. Yeah, there is one over here. There's Thebe. Is that the only one on the map that will sell us metal? It looks like there's about three others. You can only buy one metal from from there. I suspect that we might only be able to buy one metal from uh, result minus one. Yeah, so that's the problem with uh, oh Chalkis. That's a very very good option for us. Um. How did we get an extra three admin ability? Doesn't particularly matter, but hey-ho. Um, who are we currently trading with that we don't really care about? You? Yeah, I mean, sure. Let's cancel this trade route. It's not actually that big a deal for us. Let's trade with you. And let's buy in a bunch of metal. Uh, we also need to stop selling off so much wine. Maybe if we were to stop selling off wine here. That'd be fine. Again, our... Currency sort of fluctuates. We're actually losing money now. Ooh, we're losing money by, uh, we're losing quite a lot of money each month, but that's fine. Um, maybe if we could get a trade agreement with someone that we're selling wool to, that would be, uh, that would be kind of nice. Wool is just much easier to manufacture than everything else. And I don't really know why pottery is so darn hard to, uh, to get a hold of. Okay, the last trade route, or an extra trade route, should I say, is something that we're going to go after. Um, the Modest Temple is now completely buildable, um, except the fact that we need 450 build points. I would love, I'd love to get a Grand Temple, but that I think is way out of my, yeah, way out of the zone. Look, we need 200 wood, and we need 300 marble. Now, our stockpiles can only take 200 at the moment, so that is not not possible. We only need to get two modest temples in order to make everyone happy. So I'm going to buy a couple more build points. There we go. We need 450 build points. We also need 450 drachmas. So is that possible now? There we go. Let's get our first, let's get our first one up and running. We need to be careful that we don't actually go uh, broke in during this process. I don't want to say it's a perfect fit, but it's, it's a good enough fit. Um, yeah, because we are losing a fair bit of money per month. And that's because, you know, we've sort of prioritized... Uh, that's sort of because we've, we've prioritized faffing around with trade routes in order to try and get our ambition. Um, I mean... Is there anything else that we can sell off? I mean, we've got olive oil. Maybe we sell off more olive oil? Sell off a little bit more olive oil. That will help bring us back into a surplus. We're still losing wine every month. Problem is, is that we're not selling off enough wool. Andros. And Andros? I believe you're over... here? 
Are you one of the colonies? I don't think so. Ah, here we are. Um, propose trade agreement. Oh, I'd love to propose a trade agreement, but unfortunately we can't. Um, that's a bit of a bummer, really. Oh well. Improve relations, revoke trade agreement. We've already got a trade agreement with these guys, and we're selling them the maximum amount of wool that we possibly can. Well, hopefully the changes that we made will sort of stem the flow. They've reduced it by a ducat a month. Build points, minus three. Uh, what? Uh, I guess let's stop supporting these guys then. Oh, choose specialization. Um, I would like the income, actually. The income would be quite nice. The admin ability, also quite nice. I'll take the income from um, from this. We're totally fine for wool, to be honest. I don't really want to worry about it. Um, I'll also take the income from you. Any more level 5 cities that I need to, uh, that I need to select and upgrade or whatever. Yep, you're already ready. Yeah, fine. Okay, so we've saved a couple of build points per month. Hopefully that'll make some difference. Trade balance, village support. Yeah, we've... Village support, trade balance. The trade balance is minus three. Because the trade balance is so... out of kilter... We apparently spend build points. That's just like silly. Um, I just, I can't get over how stupid that is. That really is a very silly thing. Um, okay, we can stop buying metal. We can, I guess. Well, we can't really sell wine. Uh, because we can't really sell anything on any of these routes, unfortunately. When is this Bloomin Trade Port going to be finished? June. Okay, so next month. Thank goodness. Okay, good. Our build points are actually increasing. Our treasury is increasing. Um, we still have a little bit of an issue with wine, but everything else we are fine for. Food consumption, wine, and wood consumption. That is what the Modest Temple is gonna is gonna do to us, and that's okay, I guess. It's not the not the worst thing in the world. Let's have a little look at our ambitions. Uh, two trade ports, four fishing ports. Yeah, I suspect that we are somewhat far away from uh, from that ambition, just because of our current situation. Um, okay, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I suspect that we probably want to try and get ourselves a concept. Plus 3% total income sophisticated taxation. Take 10 years to remove, 15 years to remove. Interesting information. Well, we need to embrace this anyway. Do I want to embrace it right now? Not really. Standardized measure, plus three percent, plus three income. Yeah, you know what? This is a great, this is a great one. Let's go for this. Let's get that embraced. Did that just bump up our thingy, our tech progress? If so, kind of nice. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to have another trade route. In fact, we've got two trade routes that are spare right now. So let's actually start a trade route with someone where we can sell off a whole bunch of stuff that we don't actually need to improve our trade balance. I think our trade balance is back in the positive. And it even gains us build points. I don't understand why that's the case. Um, must have a positive opinion. Improve relations. Yep. Let's improve relations with you. Uh, don't really want to sell stuff to you, unfortunately. IOS, let's improve relations with you. There we go. Let's start trading. Sell them food. Perfect. And improve relations here. Great. And improve relations once more. Only 13 drachmas. A total steal. Let's start trading. Sell food. Yeah, beautiful. Does that... Does that give us the... The achievement? Seven trade partners. I mean, I feel that we must be almost there in terms of... The amount of trade partners that we have. Buy one metal. Will that make a difference? We must we must be there. So so Cirrus is a is an area that we So wait, hold on a minute. Let's start from the top here. So we have Tinos is a foreign country. 
Cirrus is one of ours, I'm pretty sure. Am I going crazy? Maybe it's not. Oh, maybe it's not then. Maybe I... Uh... I thought it was, though. Trade in Cirrus. Well, maybe I am mistaken. I guess I might be. Okay, so that's fine. Um, but it does say that larger volumes and reduced transport costs thanks to having a trade agreement. Yeah, so that's a foreign country as well. So foreign for foreign country, foreign country, Paros. Paros is ours, so that doesn't count. Corinth, Corinthos. I wish I could just see where it is. Corinthos. That's Car Carpathos. That's not the same as Corinthos. Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, Corinthos is foreign as well, so that's a third foreign country. Uh, that's one of ours. Andros is a foreign country, so that's a fourth foreign country. Angia, that's a fifth foreign country. That's a sixth foreign foreign country. That's a seventh. And Ios is like an eighth. Unless it means have a trade agreement. Is that what it means? If that's what it means, then that's a real pain to deal with. Ugh. I mean, I, I can only assume that having... Oh, man, that's really annoying because that means that we need to have first in, fir in, a, in the first instance We need to have a trade agreement with them and then we need to have and then we need to and then we need to trade with them Right, so that will cost us two admin points Well one one admin point to maintain the trading agreement one admin point to maintain the trade route That is a that is a that is that is a real annoyance actually That is a real annoyance Okay, I mean, we need to clearly get more admin points. That's the only way that we can go about doing this. But I guess we can do that through building some temples. Although it is going to take a darn long time. Anyway, on that note, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Acropolis, the Archaic Age. I'll see you next time. Bye.